Directronics.net Sundown Recones. We're going to talk about it. So, Pro, it's like $800 to get a, t uh, a set of these two new, and Sundown no longer offers the Dual 4 uh, feature, which uh, coils, so I actually couldn't get what I wanted from Sundown. So I tried going for these Recones, which were actually way cheaper. It was under $500 shipped. But I almost regret that. If Sundown had the 4 own option, I would say I should have just saved up the extra 250 bucks or whatever and got the, sun, the real Sundowns because I got what I paid for. You know, motor and everything, good. The, the rubber boot's missing. It said it might be missing. It might. And I'm like, well, yeah. How, how do you lose the rubber boot? Who takes the rubber boot off? Yeah, no, I'm missing the rubber boots. Maybe we'll start there. And that's one of the problems. Uh, the rubber boots are gone, and parts of the motor are chipped off all around. There's iron filings all around both of these. And if you just look, there's just pieces of motor knocked off. And that, that I, I really don't like that. If we go underneath, they are brutally scratched up. I don't understand how this happens. I've had my X8s since 2019, I think. And I guarantee you, if I take them out of the box, they look new other than some dust. And I'm not sure if these kits are using either Sundown changed their stuff or these kits aren't using it because uh, my, my X8s that I got from Sundown are, uh, they have beautifully bright red vibrant spiders and these kind of have a pale maroon spider. And uh, they're way stiffer than the ones I got from Sundown. I got them both new and mine were not this stiff. Uh, and I guess we'll start the spiders. That's another problem I have. The leads actually look like they're nicely sewn in on this one. Okay, yeah, there's nothing that bugs me on this one. But this one, on the other hand, uh, there are some things to be concerned about. The, the, the thread wasn't pulled tight enough, and these leads were never brought down against the spider. Focus, you son of a... You can see the leads are running flat along here, which means they're not going to be able to flex with the spider. The leads are going to be ripped on when I start throwing this thing in the car and doing some excursion to it. And that's exactly what we're going to do in a minute here. But you can see there, we got a couple where it's actually following the spider and then it's pulled straight out. Now, one of my concerns is when I rip it, are these leads going to flex? Are they going to break the threads off? Are they going to actually break the tensile leads? Is it going to damage the spider? Is it going to cause the fucking cone to want to tilt because there's an uneven force on one side? We're going to find out, but yeah, I'm not liking that now. Uh, and there's more problems on the top end. So, you know, we look good here. This is all nice and stitched, seems fine, but I'm sure you can tell by looking that, wait a minute, why is there less cone over here and more cone over here? Look, there's a lip. I can actually stick my fingernail down in through a lot of this. The dust cap isn't centered. You can actually see there's the lip where the dust cap's supposed to go. And if we look over here, why, it's even worse on this one. Look how, look how, look how much, uh, and the dust cap isn't really sealed on in a lot of spaces to the point I'm worried this dust cap's going to fly off at some point. Um, it's the quality of assembly is so much lower than, I mean, my, my Sundown X8s I bought from Sundown were perfect. There wasn't a speck wrong with them. And, you know, th this whole stuff up here is new. They, they, Directronics put the... Damn dust caps on here, but they didn't they didn't center and I could have done a way better job myself if I had the recone kits. I'm 
actually uh, decent. Let's go grab the other one. All right, I've never put any power to this one and Sundown must actually test their stuff before sending out as part of quality control because this is like, look, I can't, it's not even moving, the seat's moving down. It is stiff. But we're gonna hammer on it just like we did the other one. You know, I, I, oh, and I'm powering it off of a Wolfram 3000D. Uh, the, the, the amp that was designed by the same guy who started Surge. It's a rock solid uh, half bridge, Korean. Wait, 3000D, I'm thinking of the fucking Sundown amp back here, the 1500D. This is the W3000.1. <laughs> Not at all. It's actually colder than it is outside still. Now to show you the real deal, bumping in a box, but first let's just appreciate that. Look how the seam is perfect the whole way around. Don't get me wrong, I am very happy with these eights now, and I guess it's worth what I saved, but honestly still, I do kind of wish I saved up a couple hundred bucks and bought the, the real deal because these would have been in cosmetically perfect shape, and I know they'd be ready to rock for a long time and look good doing it. But you're here for bass. The amp is capable of pushing these subs harder, but my electrical is not. Give me time. Give me time. Now that both of these subs have received a little bit of a hammering, let's check out how those tensile leads worked out. All right, this was the one that had the good leads because they look fantastic. And uh, yeah, it looks like, because these both have, yeah, you can see there's a, a gap now where that used to be tight, so these did stretch out. It looks a little ugly over here. Let's push you out of the way so I get more light. Hmm. I can live with that. Okay, these are getting... They're, get, they're getting better. Hey, is that, is that glue starvation? Did they not give me enough CA glue over there? <coughs> the fuck? Not only does it look good, that, that's not glue starvation, the cone isn't in line with the tensile leads! Yeah! What the fuck? Alright, I... I'm st okay, look, in this one, the, the, the cone looks like it's in much, much better alignment with the tensile leads, but over here, no, the cone's out of alignment. I, that's so bad that... Either this is like some Chinese sweatshop bullshit, or these are assembled by a poorly calibrated machine. Because I, I, I never would have built something that sloppy. 
Yeah, if you look at that, you can see uh, the CA glue doesn't even go all the way up into the cone. It's, it's, it's out of fucking alignment. The cone is just twisted. I am so not impressed with that. This is probably the one that gave me dimples. Which, when I say gave me dimples, that's what I mean by it gave me dimples. Hey, are we done rendering here? Alright, I can start editing. <laughs>